Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic and this is my baby dumpling. Today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress episode 177 and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, he's good. Somebody! Somebody help! Mm, Madeline? Not my Madeline! My baby! Oh. <gasps> Is that a little kid in there? Matt Midland! <gasps> oh, the maid jumped in. Summon the palace phys physician. Yes, your majesty. Uh, that man there. Oh. He's the one who pushed my son into the water. Y you think I did what? I saw it with my own eyes. Don't throw around baseless uh, accusations. They're not baseless. Even the Emperor saw what happened. He's telling the truth. Grand Duke Ryland Roth. Why is Henry even in this conversation? It hasn't even been that long since he left the banquet hall and with the Grand Duke. Yet, in that short span, Henry ended up next to Duke Zemencia, while the Grand Duke pushed the elder Duke's grandson? Duke Zemencia's family might have been ostracized by their peers after what happened with Krista, but there's still a prominent noble house in the Western Empire. It's not a surprise someone from the Western Empire would side with their own in a dispute with foreign noble. I, 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 I assure you, I'm innocent. T Seize the Grand Duke. Oh, it, it wasn't me, Your Majesty. P please, believe me. Take him to the moon room. Understood, Your Majesty. I shall go as well. So, we'll accompany you, Your Majesty. What a wicked man he is to push a child into a pond. First he causes trouble with his tongue and now with his hands? That is interesting. This might be his way of getting back at the elder Duke of Semencia after being humiliated by him. Unbelievable. How did a man like that end up as a representative? representative of the Eastern Empire's delegation. There are only a handful of royals in the Eastern Empire, so they don't have much of a choice when it need, they need to send someone as a representative. The Grand Duke does have an issue with masking his hostility and keeping his cool when someone crosses him. Still, he usually doesn't cross that line, so he hasn't caused any major issues before. I would never expect him have expect I never have expected him to do something so drastic. Uh four royal guards? What's going on in there to warrant this much security? Unim Quevo the captain of the royal guards and Rose's younger brother. Oh. Your Majesty, shall I announce your arrival? He's become much more respectful. Refer to episode 86 for context. That's because Your Majesty... Oh. Huh. That won't be necessary. Just let him know that I'll be waiting in my room. When he finishes his work and walks out. The Remarried Empress, episode 177, The Moon Room. I swear it, Your Majesty. I, I didn't push him, I just... You bumped into him with your shoulder. Now I can understand why you might feel falsely accused. But the fact remains that the boy fell into the water. Essentially, you had the nerve to harm the child of, child of a prominent noble in my empire. <gasps> That's because Your Majesty... If you hadn't told me that the child was the elder Duke Zemencia's grandson, I, I would ne never have done such a thing. Oh dear. I almost sound as though you're suggesting I told you to push him. 
I told you told me that this boy was so special to the elder duke that he abandoned his daughter to protect him. And, and your majesty is aware of his my short fuse. Uh, <sighs> Stop casting blame elsewhere. That's quite childish, don't you think? <laughs> He's crying. Is this is the man who took advantage of a foreign royal family's turmoil to steal their empress. He and Duke Zemencia family were completely at odds because of recent events. Hold on, guys. Yet he invited them to his birthday banquet and even greeted him personally. This feels too orchestrated. To be mere coincidence. I intend to make an official complaint to your emperor over this incident. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. <laughs> now, not even I imagine that he'll actually go so far as to push someone into a pond. How is the child? There is no threat to his life thanks to the maid rescuing him quickly. Really? Send them some medicine that's good for colds. We have to sh to at least show a semblance of concern. Very well. Will the Grand Duke be sent back to the Eastern Empire as soon as the banquet ends? No. Imprison him in the Crimson Tower. The Crimson Tower is where high-ranking nobles and royalty are imprisoned. It got its name because people say the blood of this prisoner has dyed the stairs crimson. It's rumored that once you climb up the tower, you won't go back down until you become a bleeding corpse. The space inside the tower is fine, but it's not a place anyone wants to be. Understood, Your Majesty. Uh, oh, and one more thing. Fill his mouth with rocks and sew it up. Whoa, whoa, that is, that is so dark. I did not, okay, let me, let me read that one more time. My eyes just like, maybe I just read that wrong. Fill his mouth with rocks and sew it up. Okay. Wow, Henry. I use that woman as a decoy. So all cri criticism focuses on her instead of my queen. And... I'll round up each and every person that insulted her, fill their rocks with the mouth of rocks, and have them beg for mercy at her feet. Navier would never be okay with that. Huh? Oh, come in. Forgive me, my queen. I only just got word that you were waiting for me. It's all right. I ordered the guard not to tell you until you came out of the room. Unim should have exercised better judgment. Had I known, I would have just postponed everything to rush over here. <laughs> That's precisely why I told him to tell you after you were done. Mm. All the gifts. <gasps> Are those all for me? I already gave you a gift, remember? Th this is just a show off. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My actual gift to you is over here. Over there. All of them? <gasps> you can pick one. Now, it doesn't seem like the right time to bring up what I talked about with the White Mont Ambassador. Oh, can I choose all of them? Hmm? Hmm? That would make things boring. Hmm. I choose this one. Dun -dun. Oh. He just had to pick that one? Henry, that's... Uh, revealing sleepwear for a special occasion that is all the rage in the Southern Empire. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I highly doubt they would draw her in that, but... Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, the part about Henry telling them to put rocks in the guy's mouth and sew it up 
is so dark. Like, I still can't get over that. Henry is really evil. Like, he's so cute and sweet in front of Navier, but like, you know, how is it comparing Rashta's level of evil? And that just looks like child play compared to Henry at this rate, you know? Like, wow. Okay. Um, I'll get over it. All right, guys, I'm going to continue reading and this will be posted out soon. All right. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, share it with your friends and family, and boost up my, my views. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!